The ultimate software distribution for me is a single static binary with everything inside it. Not a zip file, not a targ zip file, just one static binary for that particular architecture. And Go does static binaries by default. Well, if you run CG enabled to turn off all the you know net go platform stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's one of the best features of Go. You might be wondering, like, oh, how can I perhaps know how that binary is built? You know, maybe there's some compromised uh, Go module or something like that dependency. Have you ever made a mistake? I have. <laughs> well, I didn't quite know how to get the module information from a static binary bit, but I asked a question on the Go for Slack, and I got the answer from Paul Jolly. Thank you. Go version one is M. And you can see, you can get all the module information from a static binary. So don't give me those shared lib uh, arguments, please. Thanks. Moving on to my previous self. Yeah. But I've had the problem when using Go that I write web, web applications. There's like a static directory, there's the templates directory. And basically, I have to be conscious to ship the templates and the rest of it when I upload it to my sort of AWS manager on time, aka Lambda. So that's the problem I had. And I've solved it with EmbedFS. It's really, really nice. I can just like, what I did now is put everything in, in a static directory, right? And I think it's easier just to show you the diff. The diff is right here. Like you basically just uh, have this special. La, 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 la. You basically have this special line here, and that takes the static directory and puts it into this special embed FS uh, uh, structure. And you start. You you have to tweak your sort of um, your you know your template thing. To, to use that, but it's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, you know, instead of like iotil uh, dot read file, use static dot read file, and the result now is that I have a single binary with all my templates, with all my static stuff, with my, with my font and everything like that, and I upload that up to uh, to AWS, and it runs just fine. Love it. Don't have to worry about any other files. This is my thing. I mean, it is quite large. I could I could strip it, and then it comes down a bit in size. But you know, I'm, I I like to think we're uploading with you know R sync and and gzip, so it's not such not such a big deal. So that's it. EmbedFS, a, a really nice Go feature to go alongside the fact that Go creates static binaries by default. Really, leverage it. Ship just one binary, guys. See you guys. Please like the video.